Have you ever wondered how volcanoes erupt and what exactly spews out of them? Volcanoes, these towering giants, are more than just mountains that spit out fire. They are complex structures formed by geological activity deep within our planet. When we talk about volcanoes, we often picture the classic cone-shaped mountain spewing out molten rock or lava. But did you know there are different types of volcanoes? Yes, from shield volcanoes with their broad, low profiles to the explosive stratovolcanoes, there's a fascinating variety. And here's a common misconception. Not all volcanoes spew out lava. Some erupt with ash and gas, transforming the surrounding landscape into an otherworldly spectacle. Volcanoes are not just about destruction and mayhem. They play a pivotal role in shaping landscapes, creating fertile soils, and even influencing climate. Volcanoes are not just destructive forces, but also fascinating natural phenomena. Let's dive deeper into how they work. Volcanic eruptions are not arbitrary. They follow a specific process. Do you know what it is? Well, let's break it down. Every volcanic eruption begins deep within the Earth, in a region called the mantle. Here, the intense heat and pressure melt rock into a thick molten substance known as magma. This magma is less dense than the surrounding rock, causing it to rise towards the Earth's surface. As the magma ascends, it collects in a magma chamber, forming a reservoir beneath the volcano. Now here's where things get interesting. The magma in the chamber contains dissolved gases. As the pressure in the chamber increases, these gases start to escape. The magma, now filled with bubbles of gas, pushes against the surrounding rock, causing the ground to swell and often triggering small earthquakes. When the pressure becomes too great, the magma forces its way up through the volcano's vent, a pathway that connects the magma chamber to the Earth's surface. This is where the eruption happens. The magma, now called lava, along with ash and gases, violently burst out creating what we commonly visualize when we think of a volcanic eruption. Volcanic eruptions can be either explosive, sending ash and lava high into the air, or effusive, where lava slowly oozes out of the vent. So that's the impressive process behind a volcanic eruption, but what exactly is that fiery liquid that comes out? Lava, the hot molten rock expelled during an eruption, is more than it appears. But what exactly is it made of? Now let's delve into the composition of this fiery phenomenon. Lava is predominantly composed of silicate rock, a mineral compound that forms the majority of the Earth's crust. However, it's not just molten rock. It's a cocktail of varied ingredients that shape its characteristics. Within this scorching blend, you'll find crystals. These are minerals that have had the chance to solidify before the eruption. You'll also discover volcanic glass formed when lava cools so rapidly it doesn't have time to crystallize. Then there are bubbles of volatile gases trapped within the mixture which contribute to the explosive nature of eruptions. Interestingly, the exact composition of lava can differ depending on the volcano and its location. This variation can influence the type of eruption, making each volcanic event uniquely fascinating. Lava is not just a hot molten substance, it's a complex mixture that plays a key role in the volcanic process. But where can you see these incredible natural spectacles? Active volcanoes are scattered around the world, some in places you might not expect. Do you know where they are? Let's embark on a global tour of some of these fiery wonders. Our first stop is the Pacific Ring of Fire, a major hotspot for seismic activity. This area, which spans 40,000 kilometers and touches upon several countries, is home to about 75% of the world's active volcanoes. This is due to the large number of tectonic plate boundaries in the region. Next, let's take a trip to Italy, where the infamous Mount Vesuvius resides. Known for its catastrophic eruption in 79 AD that buried the cities of Pompeii and Herculaneum, Vesuvius is still considered one of the most dangerous volcanoes in the world. Why? Because of the dense population that lives in its vicinity, our final destination is the land of fire and ice, Iceland. This small island country boasts over 30 active volcanic systems. The vast number of volcanoes in Iceland is due to its location on the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, where the North American and Eurasian tectonic plates meet. These locations are home to some of the most active volcanoes in the world, a testament to the dynamic nature of our planet. So next time you're planning a trip, 
why not consider visiting one of these volcanic hotspots? Just remember to keep a safe distance.